Hi guys, so I decided to do another live YouTube post um, because I did one last time and I quite enjoyed the format so here we go. But today is pretty super special because a few months ago I ordered some patterns on the Macau Pattern uh, website. They had a sale, it was an all brand sale and you also had free postage and packaging. So I decided to take advantage of that and have the patterns sent over to my sister-in-law and then she would hand them over to my husband when he went for a wedding this past weekend. So I have my patterns in here. Okay, what I really enjoy about this process of buying patterns is that because I have to wait normally a couple of months between buying the patterns and actually getting them. And so sometimes I forget what I have ordered, ordered because I spent ages going through the website, putting things in baskets and then taking them out of the basket and all that. So by the time I actually do order and then receive them, I've kind of forgotten what it is. So I'm quite giddy with excitement and I can't wait to get this. This came yesterday when my husband came back from America yesterday. So super, super excited about that. But before I open this lovely package, I just wanted to show you some fabric that I bought online from So Essential. Backstory for this fabric basically is that um, when I was at the Stitch Room Social, which was the previous video that I did, uh, Lucy, who runs So Essential website, she had brought um, three cotton lawns with her and she also bought some samples, um, some little square samples of fabric. And I just totally fell in love with these two particular fabrics that I saw the samples of. And I was like, when I get home, I'm going to buy them online. And so I got home and I did. I, I, I bought them. So, and oh, they're even more gorgeous uh, beyond the square sample that I saw. So the first one is some cotton lawn. Now, I love cotton lawn. It's very light, it's breathable, and it's perfect for summer weather. And it's also very crisp. So whenever you make shirts with it, I always feel like the collars come out really nice and crisp. And yeah, it's a great pleasure to sew with um, cotton lawn. So this is what I got. It's a tropical print. Now it's not very bright like my normal colors, but there was something about it that I really, really liked. See? Yeah. So it's got a navy background and it's got this tropical lush prints. I got one and a half meters of the cotton lawn. I don't quite know what I want to make with it yet, but whatever I do, it has to have some sort of collar because honestly, if you've never used cotton lawn before, making collars with cotton lawn is such a pleasure because it's, it's, it's thin fabric. So when you turn it out, you really get nice sharp corners. So it's, it, it, yeah, use cotton lawn basically. So I was very happy um with this i don't know yet what i'll make with it but my goal is to try and use this fabric pretty much straight away i don't want to end up in my collection for a really long time <laughs> okay All right so the next one is a jersey fabric and it's i love this look at that it's like got these scrummy little dots in these beautiful delicious colors that's the word i'd use to describe this fabric this fabric is delicious I mean, it looks delicious to me. I feel like I could eat up this fabric. That's how much I like it. So it's a jersey. It's John Caldo fabric. And it's got really good drape with it. So I'm thinking something jumpsuity. Yeah, something jumpsuity or something like that. Um, again, fingers crossed, I am really going to try and use up this fabric so it doesn't stay in my collection for far too long. So that was fabric number two. The other thing that I got was just to um, restock my uh, my interfaces. I keep my interfaces here in this box here. And I had started to run out of knit fusible interfacing. So this is what I use when I am sewing with jersey knit fabrics. And I just need a little bit more stability. So for example, with bird style patterns, most of their jersey patterns, they do ask you to put in zippers. And if you've ever tried to sew a zip into a jersey fabric, 
you will know that you need to have some stabilization there and you can't just use normal interfacing for woven fabrics because then it, it just becomes stiff and unwieldy and this is what you use so it stretches and even when you iron it on to the jersey fabric the jersey fabric still maintains some stretch but it's also a bit more thicker and more stable so it means that it can handle having a zipper put into it so i got that in the white one meter of the white and i got one meter of the black and this will last me ages because it's not very often that you have to use um interfacing i apologize my hay fever is a really beautiful sunny day and i'm not complaining about the weather at all because i love the weather right now it's very sunny and very hot but my hay fever also kicks in and I can't really take antihistamines because all the different types of antihistamines, they kind of make me drowsy and woozy and my head all cotton woolly. So I, I don't, I don't take the antihistamines, but it does mean that I get some sneezing fits and, um, yeah, watch me nose blurry eyes. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, so those are my two new pieces of fabric to add to my collection that should be used up very, very soon. And I seem to be getting better at using up my fabric um, as it comes in because I think with the last fabric haul that I did, um, I've already cut out the flamingos that's just waiting for more time to magically appear so I can do, I can sew it up. And I sewed up the cotton seersucker so that was two out of three the other one was a woolen fabric anyway and there was no chance that i'd be able to sew it in summer because i can't i just i can't sew for winter in summer my, my brain just doesn't work like that okay so now on to the fun stuff i get to open up my sewing patterns and find out what i actually decided to to get okay so da -da -da -da. I feel like there should be a drum roll. <laughs> okay. Ugh. Oh, okay. No, this is good. Right. This is the receipt. And I was hesitant to look at this, but they don't actually show you how much you spent on the receipt. And that's a good thing. That's a really, really good thing, I think. Yeah. This is pretty awesome. <laughs> So it doesn't show you, it just tells you how many patterns are in there. Okay, so we can keep that because I don't like I don't like receipts um, for my shopping thing. Right, what we got? Mm, okay, business reply. I like this. Treat yourself. Treat yourself. Treat yourself. I love that. I'm, I'm treating myself. Okay. Um, oh, a little catalog. Good stuff. Uh, I don't like looking at these because they make me feel like I should be getting more stuff. <laughs> I should be. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take them out one by one. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I remember this. I absolutely remember this. So this is McCall's M7753. Okay. I love that asymmetrical detail that it has going because, you know, I like to show my shoulder quite a lot because it's like my favorite body part. It's really weird, but I, I really like my shoulder. Um, so mostly anything that kind of shows the shoulder, I really, really like it. Um, what I also like about this is all the different variations that it has, but mostly this one. And I have the perfect fabric for making this. This is going to get cut out pretty much straight away um, because when this came out, I think this was the summer release. When this came out, I knew I saw it and I was like, I am getting that at the next sale. And then I'll, okay, because I think that this is just going to look so nice in cotton lawn. Uh, it might work in that cotton lawn. I'll have to think about that, actually. I think that this would work really well in cotton lawn. Let's see, what are the fabric recommendations? So they've got poplin, cotton blends, gingham, and faili. Faili? What's that? F-A-L-L-E. I need to find out about that. I've never come across that fabric type before. So yeah, McCall's M7753. I'm happy with that. I really, really wanted this pattern. And next we have... Oh, it's actually two. I pulled out two. Sick. <laughs> oh, okay. Vogue <laughs> 9281. A very easy pattern très facile and yeah I think I probably like the off shoulder look that it has going in there huh 
Okay. Well, th this is probably one of those weird ones where I kind of probably don't understand why I bought it, but I must have liked something about it. But yeah, so I, th I think yeah, I'd like that. Let's see what other fabric recommendations. Oh, wow. This requires two-way stretch knits, 50% stretch across the cross grain. Okay, so it requires a lot of stretch to make this one. Uh, it's a good thing I've got some knit interfacing now because it might need that. Okay, so that's Vogue 9281. Pattern number two. <gasps> yes! I have been dying to get this pattern for a while. I've seen so many bloggers make this pattern up and I've seen so many Instagrammers with this pattern. Oh, hi Shahida. <laughs> Thank you for saying hi. <laughs> I didn't realize that the chat thing was on. I'm still getting used to this format. So um, if I seem like I don't know what I'm doing, it's because I don't know what I'm doing for the most part. But yeah, it was lovely for you to say hello. <laughs> okay, so Vogue9253. So many brilliant bloggers and Instagrammers have made this and I have never seen a single one of these patterns that didn't look absolutely fabulous. And so I was like, I really, really want this. I like the deep V-neck and it's got kimono sleeves which are very easy to sew up and this will be very comfortable because it doesn't look like it's got a zip. Okay, boo-boo. Sorry, <laughs> I've got kids that are <laughs> dogs, so occasionally. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Shaida. <laughs> thank you. Um, so yeah, so Vogue9253, I've got a linen fabric that I want to use for it, definitely. Okay, um, right. Up next is... Oh, the Vogue designer patterns now. <gasps> yes! Rebecca Valance Vogue 1591. Okay, it's backless and it's got straps. It's a jumpsuit. It's going to be in linen. I'm definitely going to be making this in linen. It looks like it's a very easy pattern to sew up, actually. So if you look at the line drawings, there's just some dots there and there's like a... A curved yoke detail and then it's the wide legs let me see if it requires a zip fabrics lace linen silk chaquad um lining i'm fitted yes it does it's got a back zipper so there's a zipper at the back so only a back zipper does it have pockets it better have pockets yes i think it does have pockets i think this is why she's got this thing showing there okay so Again, super excited about this pattern. I haven't actually seen anybody make this up before. I just really, I liked that. I like that. It reminded me of my swimming costume because my swimming costume has got these cross straps at the back. Okay, uh, moving on. This was probably a duplicate buy. It was Vogue 1588. There is a similar pattern by Rebecca Valance and that was from, I think, two seasons ago. And... I actually bought this because I wanted to see what the difference was. I'll see, do I have it nearby? No, I, I don't have it nearby. But it looks like the easier version of the one from two weeks ago. So, not two weeks, <laughs> two seasons ago. It looks like the easier version from the one that was two seasons ago. And I think that the flounce down here is quite um, flattering. So, I'm not sure I'll be cutting into this one straight away though. This will probably wait a little bit. <gasps> Tracy Reese! I'm so glad I got this. I really am. So, this is a variation on a wrap dress. Um, I'm sorry, my it's so incredibly bright. Like, the sunshine is streaming through my um, skylight. So, you might have to go and look these patterns up to see the details better. But yeah, it's got like a a wrap front thingy and yeah the line drawing will show it let's see and lapels and I just thought that there was something really elegant and nice about it and sometimes I do want to look like a, you know an elegant person um so I thought this would be <laughs> a great pattern for it so it's Tracy Reese uh, Vogue 1586 I'm very happy I actually got that Rachel Comey, Vogue one five eight five. Now this this is um this is really unusual. Oh hi Pebbles Wall from Colorado. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in and saying hello. <laughs> yeah, just 
two seconds. Just give me two seconds. Hi. What's up? Of course you can. Yeah. You know where the pencils are? Yeah. <laughs> that was my daughter today. She just wanted to ask if she could use a, a pen to write on her balloon. <laughs> Okay, so this is Rachel Comey. This is a bit of a wild card and it's very unique. It's very different and very unusual. Um, so if you look at the line drawings, it's got like this uh, semi-secular insert, which looks like it's then gathered and it creates this volume. I like that it's sort of fitted at the bust and then it just goes out. It's like a parachute dress almost. I'd, I'd call it a parachute dress. Um, so the fabrics required for this is Sia Saka Rayon sh Shali, which I think is viscose, viscose, and crepe de chine. And yeah, so that's that one. It's Vogue 1585. And I'm going to be making this one straight away. Okay. Right. I've only got two more to go. <laughs> So I kind of have to rush through these. Boo boo, can you wait for me? I'm coming. Thank you. <laughs> I just have two more and then I gotta go. I gotta scoot. Um, <laughs> okay, so this is another Tracy Reese pattern. I'm quite a big fan of Tracy Reese. Um, I have one of her McCall's patterns from way back when she was still drafting for McCall's. Um, I think it's M7244 and it's very flattering. I always get compliments when I wear it. But this one is Vogue 1584. I like the asymmetrical neckline. The fabric choice in these pictures, it doesn't do much to show you the detail. But if you see, it's got like this um, asymmetrical neckline and the pleating on the side. Otherwise, it's a very simple dress to make. You know, this looks like a, a, a half half circle skirt just attached to a bodice and then there's a zipper on the side so the fabric recommendations for this is actually stretch knit fabrics i need to remember that um so jacques so i think a ponty a ponty might work really well with this but i think this is probably more of a winter make for me i don't think i'd be making this for summer i'm probably be making it for winter and finally um how do you pronounce this is it Guy La Roche or is it Guy? Because I know in French I think it would be Guy La Roche. I know. Anyway, it's this guy here, this designer pattern, and it's this interesting dress. It's got a military style feel to it, like a fencing feel to it. Now, here's the line drawing for it. And you can see how there's this um rather unusual detail on the sleeve. So the thing is, right, when this first came out, I kind of thought interesting, but I'm not gonna go there. And then I saw a blogger who made this dress and she just made it in plain black and it just looked amazing on her. And I just thought, wow, I, I actually saw how incredible this could look. I mean, I'm not sure whether it's the model or what it, it just doesn't seem to do a lot on here but when i saw it on this blogger i just kind of like you know suddenly fireworks are going off in my head as to what i could do with this pattern so i got this and i have some mustard linen that i think would work quite well <laughs> with it um it's going to look a bit uh, it's going to be interesting it's going to be out there so i'm quite looking forward to doing this this is going to be a slow burn um slow a, a slow burn uh, project for me and i'll just take my time with doing this um once so these are all my new patterns to add to my collection of patterns and i was very restrained um given the fact that it was a sale and i've got a club bmv membership that i use because it works out cheaper for me to get the membership especially when i'm getting the patterns postage to family and then they hand them over to me so yeah exciting times exciting sewing times ahead uh thank you so much for tuning in i gotta go now i did try to keep it quite short and it's under 20 minutes so impressive <laughs> okay so if you haven't already please subscribe for new sewing related videos i hope you enjoyed the video and if you did then please give it a thumbs up um and 
if you've sewed with any of these patterns before and you've got some hints tips tricks just let me know in the comments down below and until i see you guys next time try and keep sewing and keep smiling bye now i remember how to turn this off yes